Hey, welcome to Viking Preparedness. I am Pastor Joe Fox. Got a pop quiz for you. You want to play along? Go ahead and find a piece of paper and a pencil. And uh, when you're ready, hit pause and do this thing and then come back and watch the rest of the video. If you do that, it, I think you'll get more out of, the, out of the video. And so what I'd like you to do is write down five things that you need to take care of, five things that you need to get, um, you know, whatever verbs you want to use before... Uh, Tiawaki, you know, before the end of the world as we know it, before the crap hits the fan. Five things. So uh, go ahead and hit pause and go get your paper and do that. So hit pause. All right. Well, if you did it, I think you'll you'll uh, get more out of it than if you just go straight through the video. But it's cool. It's up to you. All right. So the things that you need to take care of. Number one is your eyes right? Your eyes. If you need glasses, go get yourself checked out and get some glasses. Get good hardcore glasses, not, you know, not the uh, little fancy German little slit glasses that look so cool when you're oomts, oomts, oomts. <laughs> you don't need those glasses. Get some real like army glasses, you know, that'll take you through what's coming. Um, get a few extra pair. If you already wear glasses, have a few extra pair. Zenny Optical. I think it's Z-E-N-N-I dot com, but if you just Google Zenny Optical, you'll find them. You can buy glasses there for like, I don't know, nine, fifteen bucks, right? Um, and so get a lot of glasses. If you can afford to, have your eyes lasered. Um, and, and just get them fixed. You might need reading glasses after that, but you know, reading glasses are cheap at China Mart. Um, but your eyes, yeah, get those taken care of because once the balloon goes up, once everything starts happening, your ability to get glasses is going to significantly diminish. All right, so number two, dental. Get your teeth worked on. Go to the dentist if you haven't been in the last six months or a year or, ya yeah, forbid, four years. Get your teeth checked up. Get them cleaned and x-rayed. And if you need fillings, get fillings. I know people are going to go off on tangents, mercury, duck, whatever. Get your teeth taken care of, because if not, you're going to have Pastor Joe helping you out, you know, with a bottle of whiskey and a pair of ice grips, you know, if it comes to that. And that's no bueno, right? So get your teeth worked on. Um, get yourself squared away that way. Buy extra toothbrushes and toothpaste if you want to. Don't get the fluoride kind. Okay, whatever. Just be prepared to take care of your teeth and start out with your teeth in a good condition. Um, number three. Look at those guns, huh? Hey, fitness. You guys who are fat, you need to lose weight. You need to do it now so you don't have a heart attack two days into uh, the emergency happening and you're working like you've never worked before to save your life and the life of your family, right? You need to get fit. You need to lose weight. Uh, you need to be able to have some strength. You need to be able to lift stuff, carry stuff, and you need to have endurance, right? You're not going to be able to poop out. You're going to have to keep working. Uh, in order to live. And the best thing you can do now is get fit. I've done fitness videos and there's people a whole lot better than me. I've done fitness encouraging videos. Um, there's people a whole lot better than me doing fitness videos out there. Don't worry about fads. Don't worry about this, that, or the other thing. Eat right and exercise. I know. What a concept, right? Um, but y'all need to get fit. I personally like push-ups and running and sit-ups and, and weights, right? I love CrossFit. That's me. Whatever you need to do, get fit, because your life and the life of your loved ones could count on it uh, here directly. <clears throat> All right, that's three. Fourth thing, transportation. You need to work on your transportation. If your car or your truck or whatever needs a tune-up, have that done. Um, you know, it's a bit late for you to learn how to work on your car if you haven't already. Um, but... You need to get your car's working order. Um, you should have some kind of vehicle that can go a long way and carry stuff with you and yours in it, right? Um, alternate transportation. Start thinking about that. If there's something like an EMP or the gas runs out or something, your vehicle may not work. Um, think about bicycles. My wife and I, I'll probably do a video on them someday. We have Huffy mountain bikes, right? They cost $70 when we bought them. Now, yes, I know there are $4,000 Trek, you know, mountain bikes that weigh like an ounce, you know. <laughs> okay, whatever, man. If you can afford one, get one. But I tell you what, my Huffy mountain bike riding around here, it works, 
right? And, and I can get around and up and down these hills and I can put it in low gear when I go up the high hills and uh, I can ride down to my friend's house and, and see him. Some things with bicycles to consider is extra tubes, pumps, uh, for whatever reason, I cannot get a quality bicycle pump. Everyone I buy breaks. Um, and so, you know, maybe a couple pumps, uh, like I said, tubes, get some baskets and some racks because you're going to be carrying stuff on and in your bicycle. Um, so think about that. They need not cost a lot of money. You can also get them at yard sales for almost nothing. Um, if you're into horses, yeah, horses, you know, um, if you have horses, get your horses taken care of, get your horses tuned up, you know, <laughs> do what you need to do because that could become your mode of transportation here. Uh, directly. And then finally, and, and I hit this a lot, is water. Um, start really thinking about water. You're going to need water. You know, we've been living off the grid here for three years and I've gained a new appreciation for water. Uh, the other day, I don't know, two or three days ago, I splurged. I took a bath in five gallons of water. <sighs> it was heavenly. Because <laughs> usually we use about a gallon and a half, right? Um, yeah, have a means to get water. So you got to think about that. Where am I going to get water? Um, how are you going to get it from where it is to where you need it? Uh, which is typically your house, your kitchen, your bathroom. How are you going to carry it? How are you going to purify it? Um, how are you going to store it? Can you catch rainwater? Yes. <laughs> Whether you live in Colorado or not, you can catch rainwater. Uh, you can have everything ready to catch rainwater, even if it's illegal to do now. Pretty simple thing to do. Lots of videos online, uh, but start thinking about water. Um, these are things I think you need to do now. And so it's eyes, teeth, fitness, transportation, and water. Uh, take care of these things, and maybe I'll see you out there.